Here's how to complete the Dark Aether Easter Egg in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies so you can travel to the Dark Aether. This is a multi-step Easter Egg involving getting multiple items including the Locked Diary, Dog Collar, Security Camera and Pill Bottle and I'll show you how to get them all in this video. Once you've completed this Easter Egg, you'll be able to permanently travel to the Dark Aether Rifts by finding sigils that you'll find in Tier 3 Contract Rewards. First quest item, you need to complete the Act 4 Story Mission Bad Signal. Make sure you equip this in the main menu before you go into your Zombies game. This will involve a really difficult version of the worm boss fight so it's highly advised to bring in a suitable loadout i definitely recommend for tacticals you run decoy grenades for your lethals to run thermites or semtexes and you play this in a team of three and it's very useful for most of you to run healing aura so you can heal all players immediately as for your weapon i highly recommend an assault rifle or an lmg so you're able to shoot zombies and the boss fight from a distance and if you have any pack-a-punch crystals tools and perks definitely bring them in for perks i highly recommend you bring in Stamina Up, Speed Cola, Quick Revive, Deadshot Daiquiri, and Juggernog. And don't be afraid to spend more of the game time getting ready before you go into this. Another thing you can do to set yourself up is to do the friendly dog Easter egg and get a tier 3 dog. That way you can be revived whilst you're going for this first item. But once you're ready, make your way over to Zaravan City and you'll be going to this new Xfield marker, which will bring you to a dark Aether Rift. By interacting with the Rift, you will then have a prompt to vote to tell port to go to the dark Aether by bringing up your TAC map and then pressing whatever button you use to cancel contracts where on playstation is going to be triangle xbox is going to be y on xbox and whatever key bind you have on pc but every player in the squad needs to vote yes in order to be teleported after a brief loading screen you will now be in the dark Aether, where your objective will be to break four seals each of these will be marked with a yellow objective marker and these can be completed in any order you prefer by going up to the prompt to activate seal you'll be given an objective to kill zombies near the seal and you'll see a green wall of smoke indicating the barrier that you need to kill the zombies in every zombie you kill you'll see their soul float up towards the orb and you'll just need to kill zombies until this fully completes you will have a lot of mimics that will spawn in this particular one so be sure to pay attention once that's done that will be seal one of four the second seal we went for is right in the middle of the map and this seal has a cryo freeze symbol on it where you can see a visible wall of cryo freeze ice which is the radius in which the zombies need to be killed whilst inside this wall of icy smoke. Once that's completed, you can move on to the third seal, which is really out in the open, and you'll see a visible ring of fire, which is the radius in which you need to kill zombies in. During this soul box, you'll also have a ton of manglers that will spawn. The fourth and final seal will take you to the right side of the map, where you'll have a ton of disciples spawning, and another visible radius circle that you'll need to kill zombies in. Once you've completed all four seals, your next objective will be to leave the dark ether with a prompt to take you to the beach. However, once you approach this rift you'll be met with a horrific surprise as there will be a new worm boss fight called the gormgun to take down compared to the act 3 boss fight this is 10 times more difficult as the worm has brand new attacks that the act 3 boss does not have the main tips i can give you to defeating this boss fight is to keep your distance from the worm at all times he has his usual laser attack he sends out these purple orbs that can do damage to you you can also do a slamming attack that will insta kill you as well as if he borrows underground and gets too close to you when he comes back out he can swallow you whole and insta kill you what i ended up doing was using this part of the map and this particular building as really good cover as if the worm ever lasered when it was on the beach it would be unable to hit me i only had to deal with a few zombies staying in this position so i had a lot of really good opportunity to continuously fire at the worm and you want to make sure that you're shooting these shards on its body as that is its weak points but be extremely careful because the worm can burrow and then actually be on the road so if the worm swallows any of your teammates be sure to just continuously fire at his mouth as that has a chance for him to spit your teammate back out but outside of the attacks mentioned he also has an attack which shoots down like airstrikes like rockets that follow you which is really crazy if you don't manage to beat this boss on your first attempt then do not worry this is supposed to be a hard challenge but once you finally defeat gormgan your next prompt will be to loot the reward rift where inside you are going to find a very specific mission item which is part of this easter egg called the locked diary you need to make sure you pick this up out of the reward rift and to leave the dark Eva to exfil with it as this is one of the four mission items you need to come back once you've exfilled make sure you place this in your stash so you don't lose it now you've completed the act four story mission we can now get the other three items because in total you're going to have four items that you're going to place on the plinth in front of that story mission exfil point which will allow you to go in the dark Eva in the future so in no particular order let's teach you how 
how to get the CCTV camera. And in order to get this, you need to have a weapon equipped with the dead wire ammo mod. So either craft a dead wire ammo mod and bring it in with you or complete ether nests where the crates inside have a chance of dropping a ammo mod. Once you've equipped dead wire on your weapon, you then want to go and find a harvester orb. These randomly spawn across the map in all tiers one, two, and three, and only appear on your mini map when you are close to them. Once you discover one, you want to start shooting the orb with your dead wire weapon, and you'll notice that the orb will change its color to gold. And just like normal harvester orbs, you just need to continuously shoot it once it's stopped moving, and eventually you'll do enough damage for it to be destroyed, and it will drop you an epic rarity CCTV camera. Once you have that, you need to go around the map to try and find an ether tear. These are the purple rifts around the map that allow you to redeploy from the sky, and these can also be randomly found around the map. So it's worth getting a vehicle to drive around the outskirts and in tier two or three. But with that epic rarity camera in your inventory, you then want to enter the ether rift and you'll notice when it redeploys you, there will be a yellow rift in front of you located in the sky. You need to fly over to it and enter it and a wisp of energy will appear in front of you and spawn a purple eliminate HVT contract. This will always be a tier two bounty contract. So make sure that you are equipped with pack a punch and the rarity so that you can take this down with relative ease. But the difference between this and other contracts is that this will spawn the main elite boss that you want to take down, but it'll also spawn two other versions of the bounty zombie. So in this case, we have three disciples. We still want to focus on taking down the main one. And once you take down that bounty, the reward rift will have the golden CCTV camera, and that will be your second item. The third item we're going to go for is the pills. And in order to get these pills, you need to equip a weapon with the brain rot ammo mod. So again, craft one before you go into the match or find one in an ether nest. But once you have the brain rot ammo mod equipped to your weapon, you want to go and find an ether nest. Once you go inside the ether nest, you're going to want to shoot one of the cysts in the ether nest, but not to fully destroy it, just to shoot it a little bit until the color of the cyst turns green. Once it turns green, you will then have a prompt to open the toxic cyst and you'll hold your interact button and it takes a little while. So if you're doing this on solo, it's highly recommended to throw down a decoy. If you're playing with other players, make sure that they cover you whilst you do this. And then you simply want to complete the ether nest by destroying the rest of the cysts. Once that's completed, go back to the cyst that you interacted with and you should now see that the pills item will be there wedged in where the cyst was and you can pick them up. These will be a purple rarity. And just like the last item, we need to turn it into a gold rarity. Once you have the purple rarity pills, you then want to go and find a ether tear and use it to redeploy in the sky. And you will now see that there will be a green rift in front of you located in the air. Once you've entered it, you will see a green wisp fly in front of you with a purple bounty contract that will be in the tier one zone. And once you take down the bounty, the reward rift will have the golden rarity pills. The final item you need is the dog collar. And in order to get this, you need to equip molotovs in your loadout or find molotovs in your game as well as a chunk of meat. These drop from zombies that are killed with headshots or by fire damage. By just killing zombies, you should come across this, but if you want to guarantee it, then completing an escort contract will spawn loads of zombies that have a great chance of chunks of meat dropping. But all you need is one piece of meat and one Molotov. You'll want to stow the Molotov so it's in your backpack along with the meat, and then you'll want to go and find a doghouse. Now, there are loads of them all over the map. It doesn't matter which one you go to, but by placing one piece of meat and a Molotov in the doghouse, house, an enemy hellhound will spawn. And once you kill that hellhound, it will drop the epic rarity collar. From here, you want to go and find an ether rift, go into it. And in the air, you will see a red rift in front of you that you'll want to fly into. Upon flying into it, you'll be teleported above the high threat zone where you will have a new purple eliminate HVT contract. Now, I highly advise making sure you are perfectly set up for this because obviously it's the high threat zone. It is extremely difficult and this bounty is going to be really tough. But if if you get lucky like we do and there's a turret nearby and you've got a turret board circuit, then you can kill the bounty very, very quick. And the reward rift will give you the golden dog collar. Once you and all your teammates have all four of these items in the same match in your inventory, you are ready to enter the dark ether. Things are going to get pretty difficult from this point. So it's highly advisable that you have all of the perks that you'd want to have at this point, as well as your pack a punch and your rarity. Don't be afraid to spend extra time setting up because this is going to be pretty difficult. But once you and your team are fully ready, you're going to want to make your way to the Dark Aether Rift Island, which is just in front of the story mission X 
refill. You're going to find four podiums and each podium correlates to one of the items that we've collected across this Easter egg journey. The dog collar goes on the napalm pedestal all the way on the far right. The CCTV camera goes on the pedestal with the dead wire ammo mod logo. The diary goes on the pedestal with the cryo freeze ammo mod logo and the pills go on the pedestal with the brain rot ammo mod logo. Once all four are placed, you will see in front of you that the dark ether rift will have unlocked. But before you can do anything else, a mega abomination is going to spawn out of that portal along with a ton of tier three zombies. This is not an easy fight given how small the space is on this island. So I highly recommend healing aura for this moment, monkeys, decoys, casimirs, and focusing purely on shooting the mega abomination when he has a glowing mouth or doing his laser attack as that is when he is most vulnerable. After taking down the abomination, you will see in the reward rift that there will be a new item called the sigil, which opens the dark ether rift. From this point, you can choose to use it to activate and go in the dark ether in that game or exfil with it and you can spend it to activate the rift in a future game. At this point, because you have completed the hidden quest with the four items, you have now unlocked dark ether rifts to use permanently in your games as long as you have a sigil to offer. This sigil that you've just got is a one-time use. So once you use it to go in the dark ether rift, you won't have it anymore. But if you want to get more sigils to use in the future, you simply complete tier three contracts and the reward rift will have a chance of dropping one. But in order to go into the dark ether from this point, you need to go to the left side of this dark ether rift and hold your interact to spend your sigil. Just like with the story mission, you'll have to open your tack map and then vote yes in order to be taken into the dark ether. But once you're inside here, you have 30 minutes to complete three different contracts that will spawn from three different dark ether bunnies. The first contract can be found on the roof of this building to the left, which is an ether extractor contract. The second bunny can be found on this bus, slightly left from the center of the fortress from where you first spawned. And this will be an outlast contract that will take place in this room here. And the final dark ether bunny can be found to the right side of the map here that will activate an escort contract, which is extremely difficult here. What you might not notice is that the dark ether has a tier four difficulty. This is extremely difficult. But once you've gone here once with the sigil, you won't have to repeat this four item Easter egg to enter the dark ether rift again. You will be able to earn sigils by completing tier three contracts in the high threat zone, which will have a chance of dropping sigils. There's also a chance that by completing the contracts here in the dark ether, you will also unlock sigils for you to return in future runs. And these can be X filled and these can be stashed for future games. There is also a chance the reward rifts in the dark ether can give you elder sigils which will allow you to activate the dark ether rift and enter a even harder version of the dark ether traversing the dark ether can be tricky because the tack map is constantly counter uav so you cannot see anything but there are x fill points that are both underground and also above on the fortress pillars these look identical to the dark ether rift that we entered with and all you need to do is go up to it and interact with it and you'll be immediately x filled there will be no countdown timer and it will pull just you out of the game. You only have 30 minutes in the dark ether. There is no extended time. And the way that the storm works is it moves a bit like a wave where it flows to and from a certain area, but eventually it will start enclosing the entire map. So you need to exfil before that timer ends. But I hope this video was useful. If it was, please drop a thumbs up as this took me nine hours of streaming in order to create and get all this footage for you. And it would really mean a lot. And if you want some tips and tricks on how to survive in the dark ether, as well as the hardcore dark ether, how to get all these new schematics, it's on the channel so be sure to subscribe to not miss it.